to be alive, to be well today. Some people slept last night and they didn't wake up today, but we are alive and well. We can lift our hands, we can walk, we can talk in good health, with sound mind. I feel it's worthy to just praise our God this morning. Psalm 47 verse 6 says, Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. So this morning in your own words, why not just begin to sing praises to our God? Begin to glorify Him, begin to exalt Him. In your own ways, whatever you want to thank Him for this morning. Just say, Father, I thank you. For sleeping yesterday, I thank you. For waking up this morning, I say thank you. Father, for my family, I say thank you. For my husband, for my children, I say thank you. For my life as well, Father, I say thank you. I just want to sing praises to you because you are the most high God. I acknowledge who you are in my life. I thank you for your protection over my family. Thank you for your protection over his royal house. Father, we thank you for your protection over us, oh God. We give you praise, oh God. We just want to sing praises to your name. He says if we have 10,000 tongues to sing, it's not enough to, to praise our God. But regardless, I want you from the bottom of your heart, from the depth of your heart this morning, just say thank you, Father. Thank him. Thank him. Father, we thank you. We thank you for life. We say thank you. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you for your protection over us. Thank you for your provision, oh God. Thank you for giving your angels to watch over us. As we go, as we come, we hear of accidents happening. There was a time I heard on the news, a, a woman who just finished her work, going back to pick her children up. As she was trying to cross the zebra crossing, this policeman who was re responding to an emergency. Didn't see this poor woman just knocked her off. She died on the spot. Look at somebody running to help somebody and another chaos happened. That woman never thought that was the last time she was seeing her children. I want us to thank the Lord this morning. If you have a grateful heart, think back to the beginning of this year. What may have gone wrong or what could have gone wrong but you're still standing because the Lord has kept you. You're still standing because the Lord has favored you. You're still standing because of the grace of our Lord. You're still standing because he loves us so much. Father, we bless you. We magnify you. We say thank you for preserving us. We say thank you. Things could have been worse, but no, Father, you prevented them from happening to us. Things could have been chaotic, but Father, you helped us through those tough times. We are standing stronger, victorious. Lord, we just want to bless you. We want to magnify you, oh God. We want to give your praise because you alone deserve all the praise for your peace in our lives for your joy for your love for your grace father we say thank you thank you king of glory thank you ancient of days thank you because you are the alpha and the omega thank you because you are the beginning and the end indeed there is none that is worthy of our praise father we just want to sing praises to you this morning we want to sing praises to your most high god this morning we give you praise oh god God, we adore you for who you are. Thank you, ancient of days. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I thank you. We just want to thank you, Lord. Of our hearts, I thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. One more time. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. For your favor in my life, we say thank you, Lord. Where would we have been? I thank you, Lord, for your mercy, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. This morning, I want us to make some declarations. But first of all, I want us to just go before his mercy seat this morning. Ask Father, whichever way you have sinned before him, whichever way you have been unfaithful, Father, I, I come before your mercy seat this morning. I ask that the blood of Jesus be enough to wash me clean from every sin, from every filthiness, from everything that will not glorify your name. Lord, because I want to come and declare in your presence this morning. I don't want my sin, my unrighteousness, my filthy garments to take away my prayers from being answered this morning. Lord, have mercy upon me. Ah, Father, forgive my sins, O God. Wash me clean in the precious blood of the Lamb, that I may come boldly in your presence this morning. He said, if you regard iniquity in our heart, the Lord will not hear us. Father, every iniquity hidden in my heart that I perhaps I don't know about, this morning, have mercy oh God have mercy Lord wash me clean in the blood of the Lamb wash me clean in the blood of Jesus thank you ancient of days in Jesus mighty name we have prayed hallelujah I'm gonna read Isaiah 45 verse 8 Isaiah 45 verse 8 says rain down you heavens from above and let the skies pour down righteousness so let the earth open let them bring forth salvation and let the, let righteousness spring forth together I say I the Lord have created it like I said it's our month of favor this morning I want us to make begin to decree say father please tear the heavens open over me because of your favor oh Lord in my life in this month and beyond father tear your heavens open over me in blessing Lord you will bless me that I'm be a blessing to my generation in the mighty name of Jesus father rain down your heavens from above in the name of Jesus over my health over my life over my business over my husband over my children over the things that has to do with me father rain down your heavens oh God in the mighty name of Jesus father rain down your heavens from above concerning me oh God in your favor oh God in the mighty name of Jesus Lord let your favor rain down open heavens over me over my household over this community in the mighty name of Jesus father rain down your heaven heavens upon us in the mighty name of Jesus Lord will decree this morning in Jesus mighty name we have prayed Genesis 22 17 says blessing I will bless you multiplying and will multiply your descendants as the stars of the earth and as the sand which is on the seashore and your descendants shall possess the gates of their enemies this morning decree father open the floodgates of heaven and drench me with your blessings in the name of Jesus it says favor is unmerited blessings so why not decree this morning it's been pronounced to us this is our month of favor meaning some blessings you do feel you don't deserve the Lord will bless you this morning because you are in his presence it's a open the floodgates of heaven drench me with your blessing drench me in your favor that whatsoever I lay my hands to do it will 
prosper in the name of Jesus. Is it a business? Is it in your education? Is it in getting success? The Father, open the floodgates of heaven. Let favor pour upon me that I may experience blessings all around. Drench me with your blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Drench me with your blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. You know, when the Lord blesses a man, when the Lord favors a man, ah, let me tell you what will happen. You will not walk. You will not run, but you will fly in the name of Jesus. So why not decree this morning? I'm tired of walking in blessing. I'm tired of running in blessing. I want to fly in blessing because of the favor of the Lord. So I can be a, a blessing to my generation. I can be a blessing to my community. Father, let me fly, oh God, because of your favor that is upon me. Let me fly with blessings. I will fly high in all that I find to do. Amen will see me and glorify you in heaven because of your favor that is drenched me in the mighty name of Jesus Lord I decree blessings on my right blessings on my left in my walk with you Lord I will fly in favor when I decree a thing it shall come to pass because the favor of the Lord is upon me in the mighty name of Jesus this morning I want us to decree say father because of your favor Take me to the top speedily in the name of Jesus. But adventure you feel the stagnancy in your life. But adventure you feel you've been stuck in one place for too long. This morning, decree because the favor of the Lord is upon us this morning. Say, Father, take me to the top speedily because of your favor in the name of Jesus. Father, take me to the top speedily. No more stagnancy. No more retrogression in the name of Jesus. No more failure, no more fear in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I walk in your favor. This morning I decree speed, speed as a result of your favor in my life in the name of Jesus. So shall it be for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's decree this morning. Father, let me fly high with speed, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not remain where I am, oh God, because I am tired tired of that valley. I am tired of that valley. I want to go move up high to the top with speed in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you Asian of days. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. We're still going to decree this morning. It's not just going to stop with us. This favor we're talking about. Psalm 2, 2 verse 8. Psalm 2 verse 8 says, ask of me and I will give you the nation's for your inheritance say at the ends of the earth for your possession how how far have you thought about this blessings of god how far have you thought about the favor of god what doors do you think this door uh, this favor can open unto you he said even unto the generations that is coming after you say father say you're, you're going to give nations for us you know, sometimes we look down so much on ourselves. But this morning, the Lord is saying, "Because my favor is upon you, you will find a favor. Uh, you will find favor with men. You will find favor anywhere you desire. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, because of your favor, give me nations for my inheritance. Give me nations for my inheritance for my children, for my children's children. In the name of Jesus, I want us to decree this morning that Father." Father, because of your favor, I will know joy unspeakable in the name of Jesus. Joy unspeakable all around in the name of Jesus. So whatever the enemy is planting to seal my peace, to seal my joy. Father, this morning I decree because I'm walking in your favor. I decree joy unspeakable in the mighty name of Jesus. All around me I decree joy unspeakable. Nothing will bring sorrow. I decree in the name of Jesus. Nothing will bring sorrow in Jesus mighty name in case you don't understand I want us to read this portion of the Bible John 15 11 John 15 11 says these things I have spoken to you that my joy may remain in you and that your joy may be full it's, it didn't say your joy may be halfway full it didn't say I'll give you a quarter of a joy it says that your joy may be full you know devil is looking for whom to devour he will bring situations that will make you want to feel there is no God anymore. 
But God is saying that when trials come, look unto the author and the finisher of your faith. He says that your joy may be full. You have to believe this and you have to walk in it. So this morning, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, everywhere I go, in my sleeping, in my waking, let me experience joy unspeakable as a result of your favor in my life. In the name of Jesus, I say sorrow will not come near me. Sorrow will not come near my dwelling. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree joy unspeakable this morning. In the name of Jesus, I want us to decree peace like a river. He said, Father, let me enjoy peace like a mighty river. When the peace of God is upon a human, he can think very well. He can hear the Holy Spirit. He can hear directions. He would hear go to the left, you go. Go to the right, you will go because you can. You have peace in your heart and you're able to hear the Holy Spirit audibly. This morning decree even peace upon your life, upon your household because we want to enjoy the favor of God. He said this favor will carry peace to you. In the name of Jesus, Father I decree peace. Peace like a river. Peace like a river in my sleeping, in my waking Lord, help me to experience your peace like never before in the name of Jesus. Peace that surpasses all understanding. That would be my portion in the name of Jesus. Lord, let nothing steal my peace. John 16, 33. John 16, 33 says, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but, the, but be of good cheer, because I have come to overcome the world. This is God promise for you and I. So when you see a, a, a shadow of something that feels it wants to steal your joy, when you see or you sense something, you begin to stand and decree, begin to decree in the name of Jesus you will not steal my peace in the name of Jesus I cancel this thing that is coming my way because we have authority in Christ Jesus. We need to decree, open our mouths to decree what we desire for our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. I want us to just thank the Lord one more time this morning. We know he has heard us from his holy hills. He has heard us. Father, we just bless your holy name. We give you praise, oh God. We exalt you for who you are. Who is there like our God? There is none like you because you are the king of kings. You are the Lord of lords. Lord, we are grateful for this privilege to come in your presence, to declare even in your presence. Father, we receive all the glory. Just this morning, in under your breath, I don't know what you're expecting to happen here today. Why not just, you know, begin to decree under your breath, Father, this morning, let chains be broken. This morning, we decree healing, O oh God. This morning, Father, we decree that you feel us like never before. Amen. Because we just want to adore you. We want to feel the tangible presence of the Holy Spirit this morning. Lord, we empty ourselves. We empty ourselves and we ask that you feel us afresh. Let your Holy Spirit take absolute control of this environment. Lord, everyone that will walk in here today, Lord, be set free from whatever it is that is holding them bound. In the name of Jesus, Father, let them experience your blessing. Let them experience breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, whatever they trust in you for, they have come before your throne of grace this morning. Father, you will touch them. You will set them free. Let them experience peace in their heart. Let them experience joy everlasting in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask for an outpour of your presence outpour of the holy spirit this morning father we do not take for granted that which you're doing in our lives we thank you for past miracles we thank you for the one we're enjoying now we thank you for the one that is yet to be made manifest father we adore you we bless you we give you praise oh god all the honor all adoration to you oh god thank you everlasting king blessed be your holy name in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let somebody shout hallelujah.